These problems are about rounding, and rounding is a very useful thing to know how to do. You can round to, you know, in a lot of different ways. You can round to the nearest one, to the nearest ten, to the nearest hundred. You can round to the nearest thousandth. Uh, so lots of different ways to round. When they say round 367 to the nearest hundred, we're going to end up with just a plain old hundred, like a 300, a 400. And because the number here is three, you know it's either going to round, you're either going to round down to 300 or you're going to round up to 400. In this case, we're going to round up. And the rule is, if that second number, that six in this case, is five or above, go ahead and round up. You'd turn it into 400. If it's less than five, round down, turn it into 300. In this case, it's greater than five, so we would say, oops, we would say 400 is the answer there. Let's look at the next one. It says round 9,229 to the nearest thousand. So here are the thousands. We got 9,000 something here. And the question is, do we round up or down? So we look at the next number right there. That's a two. That's less than five. So we round down to 9,000. If it was greater than, or five or greater, we would round, have rounded up to 10,000. One more. This one says round 23 to the nearest 10. So the nearest 10 is this 20. So we're either going to round this down to 20 or up to 30. We look at the second number here, right next to the, the place that we're rounding to, and ask ourselves, is that less than 5 or is it 5 or greater? Well, it's less than 5, so we round down, which would make this 20. So that's how to round to the nearest 10, nearest 100, or nearest 1,000.